Good morning everyone, it's Jane. How are you today? I just thought I'd come on and do a quick video before I go to work this morning. Um, this is going to be part three of my green ink swatching and this is actually going to be my collection of green bottled inks that I have. Um, I have 12 green bottled inks um, in total um, and they sort of most of them sort of lean towards more darker greens um, that sheen. I do have a, um, a couple of shimmer type green inks and then some of them are lighter green inks. Um, so let's get started. I've already done my boxes up to begin with so I can try and be neat and tidy. Um, and let's get started. I'm actually going to do the shimmer inks first. So that way we can sort of get a bit of an indication of what they're like when they dry. So just to recap, this is what we did for part one. So um, they're the ones that we did for part one. Um, these are the ones we did the other day, which is part two. And let's get started on part three. So I hope you're all keeping well. It's going to be really hot today here in Australia. They're saying we could get up to... Um, 27 degrees Celsius. I cannot remember what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's pretty warm. So this is the J um, Herban Anniversary um, 1670 Anniversary Ink, Emerald of Cheval. It's a beautiful ink. It was actually one of the very first inks that I ever got. Um, when I was starting to use fountain pens. So this is um, J. Herban 1670 anniversary. Um, Emerald of Chabot. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous ink. I love this one. Um, just really, really nice. So that's the first one. That is a shimmer ink. And I think I've, I've had this bottle of ink for about six years now. I just love it. I've got about half a bottle left. I don't ever want to use it too much because it's <laughs> it's a it's quite an expensive ink, and um, so I I love to use it, but I use it sparingly if that makes sense because I want it to last forever. <laughs> so the next one we've got is oh, you've seen me swatch this one before. It's from Ferris Wheel Press. It is um, the Green with Curiosity. Um, from the fairy tale series down the rabbit hole. This is actually a really good way of like sort of going back and rediscovering what you already have as well and um, and appreciating what you already have you know if you're on a budget there's different ways that you can use your inks um, whether it be um, writing letters with them journaling um, oh look and I've already got ink on my finger um, some people sketch with their, their fountain pens and inks as well. So this is Ferris Wheel 
press down the oh I need to do that again down the rabbit hole that's called green mm, maybe I'm not dipping enough green with curiosity it's a really beautiful green too this one not only has shimmer uh, properties in it but sheening as well I'm not sure if you can see that yet but it actually has some red sheen coming through same, same with the um, Shea Haban Emerald of Cheval. So that's our second one that we've done. Next one we might do, this is a favourite. I've already gone through one bottle of this. This is the Monteverde Californian Teal. And as I said, this is my second bottle of this one. I love it. It has, um, it has shining properties as well. I love this green. So this is um Monteverde. California. This one also has red sheen. A lot of the a lot of the green inks I have um, tend to have a, a sheening property to them, like a red sheen. So that's the third one. Um fourth one I'm going to do is this one. It's from the Inkvent series. Um, I believe it was from the first Inkvent series. This is Diamine Holly. It's a sheening ink as well. Diamine have actually just brought out a new um, a new Inkvent calendar for this year. And I believe you can, there's a few places you can buy it, but in here in Australia, I do know that Pulp Addiction is selling them at the moment. So, um, you get 25 bottles of ink. Um, it, it's, uh, I believe, 12, um, the 24 bottles of 12 mil ink for every day from day one through to day 24 and then on day 25 you actually get a 30 ml bottle of ink in the event calendar so um, I think it retails for $169.95 but that's Australian dollars so this is Dime Mine Ink Vent Holly This is a very, very pretty green. I like this one. So if you want to sort of do a little, like get some smaller bottles of ink and try different colours, the ink fit calendars are actually a good way of going about that. Um, so the next one we will do is um, this one. This is my Graphon Faber-Castell Moss Green. It's another really beautiful ink that behaves well in um, all pens. It's very good quality. It's not the cheapest ink in the world, but it is definitely a very, very lovely ink to use. And you get a very big bottle of it, so it lasts you a good while. I think I've had this one for a year. 
and I've probably and I I do use it a lot and I'd say I probably got a good three quarters of a bottle still left in it. So this is graph on Faber Castell Moss Green You can probably see a bit of a pattern here. <laughs> As I said before, I tend to lean to those darker, sort of brighter colours. So, but that's okay. Uh, the next one we've got is um, this is a Diamond Sherwood Green. It's a 30ml bottle. These are actually a really good size and a very inexpensive way of sort of trying different coloured inks. Um, I think here in Australia they retail for about ten dollars or thereabouts. So I think this is from what they call the guitar series. Uh oh. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. I've got a mess everywhere. I'll just mop that up. Okay. And get rid of that too. Oh, and I've got ink everywhere there too. Maybe this was not a good idea to do before I go to work. I'm going to go to work with ink all over my hands. Oh well. So this is Diamine Sherwood Green. It's not quite as dark as the others. Um, it's just a fraction lighter and I know you're probably all looking at I'm thinking Jane they all look so similar but I love each of them for in different pens and to me they look different um, I'm not sure if that's actually coming through on camera but to me they look differently okay so the next one I've got is this um, Pelican Edelstein Jade um, this is my second bottle of this because I dropped my first bottle and smashed it everywhere on the tiles and oh boy that was a huge huge mess so there we oh, I wasn't even in frame sorry about that so then we've got the Graphon Faber-Castell moss green and then the diamond Sherwood green So yes, this um, the first bottle I had of this, I was really enjoying and using quite a bit and then I went and smashed the entire bottle on the tiles and it just went everywhere. And I had to clean up really quickly because it just seemed to be soaking into the very pale white sort of tiles and grout that we had at the time. So I learnt my lesson to be a lot more careful after that. So this is um, Pelican Edelstein Jade. It's a beautiful colour. Um, 
much lighter than the other ones on the previous page. But a really, really lovely, well-behaving ink. Um, the next one we'll do is uh, Robert Oster Peppermint. Also a lovely colour. Robert Oster is an Australian brand of inks. They are absolutely wonderful inks to use. I've got uh, quite a few of them in my collection because I just love the way they behave in pens and that I find them easy to clean out of pens as well which is very important as well. Robert Oster Peppermint. Really lovely colour to use um, for doing Christmas mail. If you send Christmas cards and things like that, it's a lovely colour. Uh, the next one we've got is Robert Oster River of Fire. This is an ink that I use a lot too. It's um, also got sheening qualities. I've used quite a bit of this bottle. I have about half left, I think. So this is um, Robert Oster River of Fire. I mean, when you swatch them right next to each other, they don't look all that different. But they are. Believe me, they are different. This Robert Oster Peppermint is slightly more subdued than the Robert Oster River of Fire. Alright, so the next one we are going to do, we've only got three left now, is this Noodler's Ink um, Army Air Corps, and I, I think it's Blue Black. But to me it looks more like a green. I find this to be a slightly drier ink. Um, I don't know whether that's just the pen that I'm putting it in, that it's behaving like that. Okay. This is Noodlers. Um, yeah. Corp. Blue Black. These um, noodler zincs, I, th I think they're like 60 mil bottles. You get quite a lot of bang for your buck, as they say here in Australia. Okay, so moving up a bit more. This next one we're going to have is one that we swatched. Um, it's a new ink for me. It's one we swatched um, the other day or last week. It's the Noodler's Bad Green Gator. 
I even love the label on this. Look at the label. Needlers do really fun labels on their inks. Okay. This is Noodlers, Bad, Green, Gator. And our lucky last one is going to be the Van Diemen's Apple Island Green. Now I had a swatch of this and I liked the swatch so then I decided to go and buy a full bottle of it. Um, I've had it for a while but I know we swatched it as part of our swatches the other day as well. Van Diemen's um, inks are an Australian band also, um, made down in Tasmania, which is in the southern tip of Australia. Okay, so this is Van Diemen's ink. Um, apple Island Green. So that was the last of our ink, or oh, my bottled inks that I have in the shades of green. Um, hoping you can see all of that. There we go. So as you can see, um, I'm going to try and lift this up without sort of something. There's quite a bit of sort of like copper sheen and shimmer in that first one of the J Haban. Emerald of Cheval. Next one we've got is the Ferris Wheel Press. Um, can you see that? Down the rabbit hole green with curiosity. The next one we've got is the Monteverde California Teal. So you can see a little, little bit of um, red sheen just there. Um, the next one is the Diamond Infant Holly, and you can see quite a bit of red sheen in that, hopefully. Um, the next one we've got is the Graphon Faber Castell Moss Green, and it has a little bit of red sheen to it, but it's not quite as bright as the others. And then down the bottom here we've got Diamond Sherwood Green. I can't really see any red sheening in that, but it's a lovely sort of dark green. And if we come across here to, um, we've got Pelican Edelstein J. These are still sort of drying. Um, then we've got Robert Oster Peppermint. Uh, Robert Oster River of Fire, which is still drying. Noodler's Air Corp Blue Black which I think has quite a bit of green in it. Then we've got the Noodler's Bad Green Gator and then the Van Diemen's Apple Island Green, which is still drying. So out of all those, 
what do you think? Hang on, I'm going to see if I can just bring this out a little bit. There we go. What do you think of all of those? These are my favourite greens. So they're ones that I've actually bought sample. Oh, apart from that Jay Haban Emerald of Chavor, um, I just bought the bottle of that because I knew it. I saw someone else using it and I knew I would love it. But the rest I've actually bought samples of before and really made sure that I, I liked them because when you say, oh, green ink, there's such a variety and different shades of green ink and they all do different things. Some of them are shimmer, some of them are sheening inks. Some of them are shading inks, um, some of them are more water resistant than others, so um, there is still quite a variety um, within these, these just 12 bottles that I've got here. Um, and it looks like I've made another boo-boo here and spilt water. Oh, that'd be right. Okay. So um, out of these inks, which one's your favourite or do you have any of these yourself and why do you gravitate to that particular green ink? Um, so I'll leave it there for now everyone. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Uh, thank you to everyone who has subscribed as well. I really, really appreciate it and hopefully I see you back here again. Thank you. Bye.